Thank you for joining me to learn more about the JD MBA program at Northwestern. My name is Christy Heaton, and I've been at Kellogg for six years, and I'm the admissions officer who oversees the JD MBA admissions process. Through this session, we will cover a lot of information at a high level. My hope is that after this session, your interest is piqued and that you can go on to engage with us further and connect with members of the community to learn more about the program and the aspects that interest you most. So I wanna start off by giving a little bit of history on the program. The dual degree program at Northwestern started in 1970 and was initially a four-year program. In 2001, we transitioned the program to be the three-year program it still holds today. So why does or should this history matter to you, you might be asking. Well, first, it means that there's a lot of history at Northwestern with this program. We've had the opportunity to learn a lot over time and improve the program to make sure it's optimized and delivers the best experience for our students. Our students go through the program as a cohort, they start and finish with the same class at each school, and they complete both degrees in three years. It's also a fully integrated program, meaning there's no one course, there's one course of study that combines the disciplines and thinkings from two different programs into just one. JD MBAs are also able to develop the skills that empower employers seek by customizing their curriculum and classes to fit the direction they plan to go in their specific careers. The last point I want to mention here is the amount of support provided to our JD MBA students. There are tons of administrators, deans, and professors involved from both schools to ensure a seamless transition between schools and continuous help and guidance throughout your three years. I think it's also important to understand some of the unique benefits with each school. At Kellogg, you will achieve your full leadership potential by growing your skill set through our academics, learning through doing, experiential learning, and club leadership is a big part of the Kellogg experience. Experiencing the world, there are global opportunities abound at Kellogg. Quest, Gym, Global Lab, there are so many ways to gain global insight while you're in the program. Shaping your career, you have the opportunity to partner with our Career Management Center to fine tune your goals, your interviewing skills, your resume, and lastly, being a part of the incredible culture, one that is low ego and high impact and that we'll talk a little bit more about later. At Northwestern Law, you'll find a unique blend of a rigorous intellectual environment with a collegial and supportive community. Our students have access to the most interdisciplinary research faculty in the nation. We also have one of the lowest student to faculty ratios, which means our students enjoy an unusual amount of individual access to these scholars even after graduation. Chicago is a major world financial center, the third largest city in the United States, and it has one of the largest legal markets. So Northwestern's proximity to the courts, commerce, public interest activities also enables our students to experience the practice of law as well as its theory in one of the most vibrant legal and business communities in the world. So now that we've talked about the history, the benefits, and the culture of the two schools, why don't we talk a little bit more about how the program works and the curriculum. Students spend the first year of the JD MBA program at the law school on the Chicago campus, and they complete the standard first year law curriculum. There's really no difference between a first year law student and a first year JD MBA student. During the first summer, students enroll in a minimum of three Kellogg credits and are also encouraged to take law school coursework to help get credits towards the law degree. The second year of the program is what we call your Kellogg year. Students complete the minimum of 16 credits, including their core courses during this year, and they enjoy that fully immersive Kellogg experience during this time. Then the summer between the second and the third year is when students will complete their internship. Students who pursue a law internship will go through recruiting at the law school during their first summer and early fall of their second year. If you're interested in pursuing a business internship, you'll go through recruiting in the winter quarter of your second year. Students have access to both the Northwestern Law Career Center and the Kellogg Career Center. Then in the third year, students are mostly back at Pritzker full-time, completing the coursework and the requirements for the law degree. And most JD MBAs take one to four courses during that year as well. So with this basic understanding of the flow of the program, I wanna focus a little bit 
on the specific curriculum of each of the schools. I think one of the biggest advantages of this program is that you're still able to customize your curriculum to suit your specific career interests, what you want to study, but you do have to be somewhat intentional about how you fit everything in. You can do a lot in this program, but it's not possible to do everything. At the law school, the JD MBA students will complete that first year curriculum in the same way those law students do. And then when they come back in their third year, they are able to select a curricular concentration to focus on a specific area of law, just as their peers in the law school would. There's a really nice breadth of offerings at the law school to really fit the interests of the students. The MBA curriculum, on the other hand, begins by building core management skills across multiple disciplines. And after completing or waiving out of the core classes, students move on to take electives, reflecting their specific area of interest. Students can elect to pursue a major in one of the seven academics departments, or a pathway, or do both a major and a pathway, or do neither. Outside of the core, it's really up to our students to decide what classes they want to take. OK, so we've talked about the program, the academics, and now I want to talk a little bit about the culture of the program and the careers that our students opt to pursue. One of the things I've grown to appreciate most over my time working with this program is that there's a really similar culture between both the law school and the business school. It's one that values work experience, teamwork, collaboration, and provides a rigorous academic experience. And while the experience of being a law student is very different from being a business school student, our JD MBA students have the unique opportunity to experience and learn from both of them. Both programs are going to stretch you to your limits, but in very different ways. You're going to be taught to think like a lawyer and stretch to think through business problems in very different ways, but all within this very supportive environment. I think it's also important to mention that students in the program have the fully immersive student experience. You can be a president of a student club at Kellogg. You can participate in law review or be involved in a journal. You can do research with a professor on the law side. You get to build the student experience that you want and customize it on what interests you most. But I want to circle back on one thing I mentioned earlier and set expectations here. In this program, you can do a lot but you can't do everything. You're fitting two degrees that should take five years into three. So there are going to be choices you need to make. You're going to have to be selective in how you spend your time at each school and cultivate the experience you want within the limits of the time and the program. You also need to think about the career direction and where you're ultimately hoping to go after school. Our JD MBA students have access and support and coaching offered by both of the career centers at Kellogg and the law school. Graduates are highly sought after for their critical thinking, their creativity and commitment, and they serve in positions of leadership in law firms, corporations, government entities, nonprofits, financial services. On average, we find that half of our graduating students take roles in law careers and the other half in business. The data from this past year is a little more heavily skewed towards law. Think about it. In a class of 20 to 25, if three more people go law than business, it really skews that percentage. Um, and we found in this past year that many who thought they would pursue business really ended up loving the law and changed direction. So there's space to do that within the program and support. You just have to be proactive in talking through this timing and thinking about the options available and knowing the different recruiting timelines at each of the schools. So with that high level overview of the program, I now want to talk a little bit about the application process. Those interested in applying to the JD MBA program will complete one application through Kellogg. In the application, you'll select JD MBA, and the submitted application will be reviewed and evaluated both by Kellogg and Pritzker. Then there's a joint committee that will make decisions on the application, and applicants will not be admitted to one school and not the other. Your application is only considered for the dual degree program. In order to apply to the program, you must have a bachelor's degree and a valid GMAT or GRE score. No, we don't have a preference. There's not a minimum work experience requirement, but I think it's important to note that at Kellogg, the average years of work experience, full-time work experience, that is, is five years, and it ranges anywhere from two to 12 years. So just keep that in mind. JD MBA applicants will complete all of the requirements of the Kellogg application, and I'd encourage you to read more about the criteria and how we evaluate on the Kellogg website. But there are three things that I want to highlight that pertain to this pool more specifically. 
The first is that there's an additional essay question for JD MBA applicants. So you're going to be asked to submit three written essays instead of two. The second is in regard to the letters of recommendation. I really would suggest using the guidelines in the Kellogg application for who to select to write those letters. The questions asked in those rec letters really focus on your work experience and getting to know individuals. And oftentimes, academic letters aren't really able to address all the questions that we're asking because they know the applicant in a very different context. And then my third and final note is about the interview. We seek to interview all of our applicants, so you're required to ask for either an on-campus, which will be able to schedule on your own after submitting the application, or an off-campus interview, where we'll match you with an alum in the area you live. It makes no difference to us what you select, so you just pick what's most convenient for you. Okay, and finally, I wanted to mention that we have three rounds to apply in. There's one application deadline for each round and one decision deadline for each round. We release all decisions for a particular round on the same day, and we see applicants being successful in all rounds. But our third round tends to be the smallest, and at this point in the process, most seats have already been taken. I know that was a ton of information, and I'm really happy to serve as a resource to you as you figure out whether or not the GD, JD MBA program is the right one for you. You can reach out to me at any time with questions, and I'd be happy to arrange a time to speak to you, so please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks so much for joining us.